Buckle up, the biggest tech event of the year is sure to be a wild ride, especially on this VR roller coaster. It's awesome. You could feel the air from uh, those machines, so it's really realistic. At $180,000, it's still cheaper than a real roller coaster and much smaller. You can see it in a very crowded places, in shopping malls. Speaking of crowded, 180,000 people attended last year's CES, and this year looks no different. With two and a half million square feet of exhibit space, this is a welcome sight. It's squeezing all of my pressure points. It's kneading in the base of my feet. It's squeezing my calves. But why walk when you can fly? You can't build enough roads for all the people in, in these high densities, so we're going to have to take to the sky. The makers of Bell Helicopters are in talks with Uber to launch the Nexus as a quiet flying taxi. If you're a thousand feet below that aircraft, you won't even know that it's there unless you look up. But for now, autonomous buses are all the rage with so much space once you remove the driver's seat. Even a compact passenger car gets really spacious once you don't have to worry about a steering wheel or pedals. Hyundai has been designing this interior for the car of the future. The driver is no longer just a driver, but the driver can just be another passenger in the vehicle. Of course, if you really want to. Drive mode. Engaging in manual driving mode. Is there a steering wheel? Oh, look at that. Wow. Now, full autonomy is still years away. We are teaching students uh, AI and self-driving car technology. This toy robot will train the next generation of self-driving car engineers. And then there's this. They call it the Tesla of scooters. It's all electric, and it can go far and fast. If you want to navigate, it has built-in GPS. We were there as Edergo won an innovation award. We also have really nice blinkers. Speaking of LEDs. It allows you to make any design you want. Nanoleaf is a new kind of home lighting. Each panel uses just one watt of power. On the walls, people have put them on the ceilings, and I've even seen people put them on, on the ground as well. Also for your home, a security system that costs 30 bucks. Someone can just grab one of these and in about 90 seconds there, peel and stick on the wall, downloaded the app. And the mascot's a fuzzy kangaroo. Now, how's this for cute? A furry pillow that wags its tail when it's happy and the more you pet it, the happier it gets. Seniors living in nursing homes, they don't have access to pets. Now, Shunsuke Aoki has another product for seniors. I designed this uh, for my mom who don't use smartphone. The little robot responds to voice and reads text messages out loud. And the battle of the tiny drones continues. It is the thinnest flying camera ever built. So thin, it snaps right onto the back of your phone. You fold it like this one, and you put it here. 